Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My beloved brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of everything. He created you and He created I. Allah has made so many things that if we sit and ponder, you would see how beautiful the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. A perfect example is the mountains that were created or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. Look at me now, where am I on? I am on a mountain. If you look at how huge this mountain is, it shows you and I who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Allah is capable of creating everything, my beloved brothers and sisters. If we were to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have that taqwa, we would be happy, content, and Allah would love us as a result. Let me read some verses of the Quran wherein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about two things. The first verse is a verse in Surah Al-Hashr and the second one is in Surah Al-Baqarah. So let me start from the one in Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah is telling us about the children of Israel, Bani Israel. Allah is telling us Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 74. ثُمَّ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ فَهِيَ كَالْحِجَارَةِ فَهِيَ كَالْحِجَارَةِ أَوْ أَشَدُّ قَسْوَةِ Allahu Akbar Allah is telling us referring to the children of Israel but the lesson is for you and I to learn from then your hearts became hardened after that after what? Allah is referring to the children of Israel then your hearts became hardened you know hardened like stones or even harder than that why is allah saying this to them upon all the signs that they received they saw they saw different signs they saw so many signs different signs you know signs from allah someone dies it, it is a sign from allah something happens allah is capable of so many things but yet upon all these signs their hearts became hard like stones or even harder than that Subhanallah. My beloved brothers and sisters, let's not be like those children of Israel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about. Let's try to develop the consciousness of Allah, that taqwa. Let's try to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second verse, amazing verse in Surah Al-Hashir, beautiful verse in Surah Al-Hashir chapter 59 verse 21. Allah tells us if he were to reveal this Quran on mountains, they would have humbled themselves down out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Coming apart out of the fear of Allah. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. لَوْ أَنزَلْنَا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ عَلَىٰ جَبَلٍ لَرَأَيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا لَرَأَيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا مُتَصَدِّعًا مِّنْ خَشِيَةِ اللَّهِ Allahu Akbar. If we had sent down the Quran upon a mountain, you would have seen the mountains humbling themselves down, humbling themselves down out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, humbling themselves down, coming apart out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My beloved brothers and sisters, what about you and I? If the mountain, look at how huge this place is, look at how huge this mountain is. If Allah says, if He were to reveal this Quran, the verses on the mountains, they would have humbled themselves down, then why wouldn't we as well humble ourselves down and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? May Allah make it easy for us. May Allah make us understand the importance of taqwa Allahi, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, there is a saying which says, taqwa Allahi and taj'ala baynaka wa bayna azabillahi wiqa'ih. Taqwa Allah, the consciousness of Allah, is to put a barrier between you and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Baynaka wa bayna azabillahi wiqaya. A barrier. What is a barrier? Something that can prevent you from going near the punishment of Allah. Look at this mountain. Allah tells us if the Quran were to be revealed, the mountain would humble itself down. Listen to the ending part of this verse. Allah says, وَتِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالُ نَضْرِبُهَا لِلنَّاسِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And this kind of examples we present to the people that perhaps they may give a thought. Subhanallah. 
This kind of examples we present to the people that perhaps they may think about it. Would you try to think about this? Allah is saying, if the Quran were to be revealed on mountains, it would have humbled, they would have humbled themselves down. Yet Allah is saying, well, I'm just giving you this example so that you can think. My beloved brothers and sisters, try to think. Think about this. Allah is capable, very capable of doing everything. Subhanallah. He created you. He created the mountain. Allah created everything. So if the mountain would humble itself down, what about you and I? Let's try to become soft. Our hearts shouldn't be hard. Let's try to be soft. I give you another beautiful example. Allah talks about the mercy of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَزًّا غَلِيزَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْفَدُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ Allah says to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu it is because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you that you are lenient towards them. If you were harsh and hard-hearted, they would have dispersed from among you. They won't stay. They would run away. They won't stay. They would have dispersed. Allah shows us beautiful example through the Prophet Muhammad of how good it is to be merciful and to be soft-hearted. If you have a soft heart, automatically it would attach you with the consciousness of Allah. You would automatically fear Allah as a result. We have people that were arrogant, haughty. Look at the Fir'aun, for example. The Pharaoh, he was arrogant. Where did he end? SubhanAllah, how did he end? And another thing, my beloved brothers and sisters, just try to be humble. Don't be arrogant. Don't be, you know, haughty. If you are humble, Allah will love you as a result and you will be successful, SubhanAllah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet Musa to Fir'aun, Allah told him, talk to Fir'aun with a humble speech. Talk to him in a very beautiful way, humble way, so that he may perhaps be reminded or fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَقُولَا لَهُ قَوْلَ اللَّيِّنَ لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ أَوْ يَخْشَى Oh Moses and Harun, Allah sent them. When you go to the Fir'aun, talk to him with a gentle speech with a beautiful speech soft speech perhaps he may be reminded of fear allah if you are harsh and hard-hearted it doesn't bring about any good fir'aum is harsh was harsh and hard-hearted but yet allah told his prophet moses when you go to him be soft so my beloved brothers and sisters i present this beautiful example to us of this amazing view of this beautiful mountain here in this beautiful city of mina in niger in nigeria how the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. May Allah make us become from among those that have taqwa Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.